That dash cam video helped provide a Bloomfield, New Jersey, New Jersey man's innocence. It's a story we first broke at 7 Online. Now this 30-year-old faced a number of charges, including eluding police and insult. Investigative reporter Sarah Wallace obtained the dash cam tapes, and she spoke exclusively with him. Sarah? Well, Diana and Shade, quite a turnabout. All of the criminal charges against Marcus Jeter have been dismissed. Two Bloomfield cops have now been indicted. A third quietly pleaded guilty to tampering and retired. It's all because of video the cops may have tried to hide. Get out the car! Get out! This is the Bloomfield Police Department's dash cam video that prosecutors say they never saw when they pursued criminal charges against 30-year-old Marcus Jeter. Notice his hands in the air. He was charged with eluding police, resisting arrest and assault, and also notice who throws repeated punches. If the tape hadn't surfaced... I was going to be doing jail. The incident began when cops were called to the Bloomfield home Jeter shares with his girlfriend. No charges were filed, and Jeter says he left after briefly talking to officers. They say you were eluding them. When they were behind me with the lights on, I pulled right over, you know. So you weren't trying to escape? No, I wasn't trying to escape. In a video from the first police car prosecutors did see, Jeter stops on the side of the Garden State Parkway. The cops pull out guns. Why didn't you just get out of the car? Because I was... I was afraid. There was a cop on my left with a gun pointed at me, and there was one on my right side with a shotgun pointed. I'm afraid that I might get shot. If you got out? Mm -hmm. The tape not initially turned over is on the dash of a second police car that comes from the opposite direction, crosses the median into ongoing traffic, and then strikes Jeter's car. There is no mention of that in any police report. When Jeter first told his attorney that part of the story... It was incredible. I didn't believe his story at that particular point in time. So you finally believed him then? Yes. The next thing I know, as he's coming around the car, the glass gets busted, and all the glass goes in my face. Get out the, Get car. Out the car! Your hands are up. My hands are up. As soon as he opened the door, one of the officers reached in and just punched me in my face. As he's trying to take the seatbelt off, he's elbowing me in my jaw. And I'm, you know, and I'm like, ah! And he's like, stop trying to take my gun. Oh, don't go for my gun! Stop resisting arrest. Stop trying to take my gun. And as he's saying that, I just knew, and I, and I was sit, thinking back in my mind, like, okay, this is going to go wrong. Stop resisting! Get down! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Why are you trying to get my gun? Get off my gun! And right before they, um, when they opened the door about to put me in, the officer hits me in the back of the head again. As soon as prosecutors saw this video, they dismissed all of the charges against Jeter. Interesting to note, an investigation by Bloomfield PD's scandal-plagued Internal Affairs Division had found no wrongdoing by police officers. The blame is with the Bloomfield Police Department not providing that tape. If we hadn't had the tapes in this particular case, an innocent man would be in jail today. I'm sure that if this happened to me, it could happen to a bunch of other people, you know. Scary, right? It's a scary situation. And we were there exclusively today in Essex County Court in Newark, where Bloomfield police officers Sean Corder, there on the left, and Orlando Trinidad, who you will see here on the right, were arraigned on charges including conspiracy, official misconduct, and falsifying reports. Trinidad is also charged with aggravated assault. They pleaded not guilty. By the way, you can watch much more of my extended interview with Marcus Jeter on our website, 7 Online.